On the way to a job site, I found a coyote hanging out in a pasture where I like to deer hunt. I'm always up for a little bow practice, plus the rancher said he's been having issues with coyotes, so I grabbed the bow and rifle and headed out into the pasture. It's too windy for him to hear the mouse squeaks, and the pup in distress calls just aren't perking his interest. So I'm going to move a little closer and get behind a little more cover. Unfortunately, the wind direction is not as good here, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. He took off like he's getting out of here, so I grabbed the rifle. But then he turned and headed my way. It's bow time. He's done. Had a tough time. I don't know what the heck happened. I came in on this guy. And, uh, you know, I just kind of played until I got the wind right and got him close enough to where you can hear my squeaking. And as soon as I turned that squeak up a little bit, Boy, he came running right in. I thought he was going to get away from me there. I must have hit him a little towards the front, in front of the front shoulder. But it did some massive damage. He didn't make it 100 yards, and he was pretty sick. First time I took the old Bowtech out for a walk in a little while. And uh, be patient. So I get Nancy and taking a 200-yard rifle shot on the skyline, which I wasn't going to do, but had an opportunity. I just repositioned and got in a good spot and, you know, didn't have to worry too much about the camera because I was cam strapping. It's quite the accomplishment getting a dog with your bow, especially at that distance. I don't know what he was, but I'll get a measurement. Sweet.